Guys. Things what my body does. Hello, I'm Victoria, and this is the thing that my body can do. Thanks for that, Victoria. If you've got a body that does something unusual, then write to us at info at brainiac.co.uk and we'll share it with the world. All in the name of science, of course. Will it glow or will it blow? The new chemistry conundrum as posed by Dr John P. Kilcoyne, principal lecturer at the University of Sunderland. So, what chemicals has Dr. Kilcoyne got in his shed today? White phosphorus, oxygen. Will it glow or will it blow? The answer coming up after the break. Also to come, a lucky viewer becomes Brainiac for a day. A Hollywood star pays a visit to the Brainiac lot. Jocks away. And what makes Britain's loudest bang? Brainiac. Brainiac. This is Brainiac, the science show that had proof of the Roswell aliens. But take the football over it. Still to come. How many 360 degree turns can you do without falling over? Watch out, Dr. Bunhead's at a service station near you. Drop a little bit in. And whoa! Do us some car wash. And what happens when a skip full of crockery falls from a crane? But first, Dr. John P. Kilcoyne of the University of Sunderland posed the question, white phosphorus and oxygen. Put them together and what happens? Glow or blow? The answer, glow. The phosphorus reacts with the oxygen to create lots of pure white light. Nice one, Doc. <laughs> what a great glow. Cap gun. Book. And balloon. They all make a pretty satisfying bang. But which is Britain's loudest bang? Now, obviously, the answer is fairly likely to involve the words caravan and petrol. But if we exclude explosions, not something we take lightly on Brainiac, we come up with an intriguing experiment. I give you the piano. So, what's it like in the bang stakes? Not bad, but I think we can do better. Piano, say hello to Crane. Rigged with a quick release mechanism to drop heavy things from very high onto concrete. Oh yes, we are. Now all we need is someone to handle the measuring side of things. John, how are you? Very well, Richard. So, come well. on, how's this going to work? Well, this is Brainiac at its finest. We have a 100-foot drop yes. and a 250-kilogram piano. Brilliant. I'm hoping it will create a heck of a bang. So what sort of impact speed are we expecting when it hits the deck? Well, I'm glad you asked that, Richard. Ah. I did some very complicated maths using Newton's laws of motion, and I've come up with an impact speed of around 50 miles an hour. Brilliant. Well, look, if that isn't loud, I don't know what is, but just to make sure we extract every bit of noise from this experiment, um, there we go. That, in case you're wondering, is the loud pedal. Right. A piano is a hollow resonance box that amplifies the vibrating strings inside. So, on impact, we should hear a symphony of discordant notes, coupled with the pleasing sound of smashing furniture. John, you've got toys! Isn't it great? Look, I've got some high-technology microphones here, yes. little gizmo to measure the decimals, and over there, that's where I'm going to be doing my analysis. Fantastic, so we've got it all covered. Right, well, if everybody's ready, clear the area. Three. Good luck, everyone. Two. That piano, by the way, where did it come from? Church Hall, I think. Right. One. Wow! What a mess! I mean, look at... I think... Yeah, as I thought, it's slightly out of tune. 
down this end. It was brilliant. The question is, how loud was it? John? That was 111 decibels, Richard. Sounded like a bit of a bottom C to me. The decibel scale, named after Alexander Graham Bell, takes in everything from extremely quiet to absolutely deafening. The piano's sound level was actually comparable to a baby crying. Rather more satisfying to watch, though. So, the big question is, what could be louder than a piano falling from 100 feet to land on the concrete? How about a skip full of crockery? Keep watching and find out what happens when several hundred play settings hit the deck. <laughs> I'm Jodie Marsh and you're watching Brainiac. <laughs> This frame contains industrial thickness polystyrene. Comprised of long chain polymer molecules and a matrix of trapped air bubbles, polystyrene is ideal for cushioning fragile objects. It also finds frequent use in the construction industry. This brainiac is about to run full speed towards the polystyrene. But will he break through or bounce off? It's a breakthrough! The Brainiac's forward momentum was enough to separate the long chain molecules and ensure that he did more damage to the polystyrene than to himself. Polystyrene, a thing you can run through. Every week we get thousands of letters and emails saying, We love you, Brainiac. You guys are the best. Can we be a Brainiac too, please? Well, the short answer is... No. It takes half an hour to train a Brainiac, and we simply don't have the time. But if you're lucky and you have something interesting to blow up, we might make you Brainiac for a day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Brainiac for a Day! With your hosts, Dolly Girl and Dolly Boy. Every week, one lucky viewer gets to wear the famous yellow t-shirt and spend an explosive, thrill-packed day as a Brainiac. This week's Brainiac wannabe is Katrina Lawrence, a 25-year-old trainee baker from Finsbury in Kent. Welcome to the show, Katrina. Tell us what you're going to be blowing up today. Sacks of flour. Trainee baker Katrina wants to blow up sacks of flour. We've got a whole selection, plain, self-raising and both. She spends all day baking bread, but her wheat allergy means she can't eat anything she's made. She hates the stuff. But before Katrina can blow up anything, she needs to step through the magic Brainiac door and transform from trainee baker Katrina into Brainiac Katrina. It's time for Katrina to pick her ammunition. Each envelope contains a different explosive. Which one will Katrina choose? Envelope A, envelope B, or envelope C? Katrina, the choice is all yours. She's gone for envelope A. OK, let's see what you've picked. It's naphthalene. Great choice, Katrina. A very volatile material. Uh-oh, there goes the siren. Time for Katrina and the presenters to retreat to a moderately safe distance, while our explosives expert steps in to set the charge. As always, Brainiacs take the utmost care when rigging explosives. It's essential not to panic. And you could be joining us here on the Brainiac for a day set. Write to us at info at brainiac.co.uk telling us what you'd like to blow up and why. But today is Katrina's day. And as we like to say here on Brainiac for a day, safety first. Brainiac second! What a blast! Good work, Katrina! Everybody loved that one! From the other angle, we clearly see the Napoleon make easy work of those sacks. You've heard of flower bombs, but this is the real deal. As the flower mixes with the air, it becomes a very dangerous explosive mix, which easily ignites in a beautiful fireball. Phew! 
And here's a little souvenir to remind you of your time on the show. Thanks, Brainiac, for making me Brainiac for a day. No problem, Katrina. Brainiac loves to keep the fans happy. Oh, and Katrina, make sure the jumper's clean when you post it back. What can we do for you today? Nurse, I'm bored. Can you tell me something interesting I can do with my body? Certainly. Try this. Try and breathe out from your nose and your mouth at the same time. OK. <sighs> Breathing is determined by the position of the soft palate, a fleshy flap at the back of your throat. Hmm. Let me see. When it's up, air goes through the mouth. Down, and the nose is used. Finding a midway position and exhaling through both is very tricky to master. Mm, you can't do it. No, it's impossible. Amazing. Thanks, nurse. I'll have hours of fun with that. Not at all. Goodbye, Mr. Tickle. Cheerio. <laughs> Dr. Bunhead's on the road in his old banger. So take cover because science's biggest loser is still trying to flog his half-baked experiments to the unsuspecting public. Oh, excuse me. Hi. Um, can I interest you in my new uh, car wash kit? It's uh, Dr. Bunhead's special shampoo. Uh, you get a little chamois cloth and uh, all of that will save you going to a car wash. What, five or a go car wash, something like that? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah right, this one should do you at least five, ten car washes. I just need some money because my car's broken down. Five yeah, come on. All right, cool. Um, just a couple of accessories, a couple of add-ons. Um, okay, do, all right. It won't be long, you just, you'll need these. Now, I know what you're thinking. Don't worry. Uh, this is the beta version. I'm, I'm, um, I'm working on reducing the size, but that's the, that's the kind of first version. There's one more. Just, just you're one joking, more. You're joking, isn't it? Right. Uh, so, all we do is put a little squirt of the bunhead mix. Um, what, you're going to give me that with that? Oh, hang on. I haven't finished yet. Okay. This should do a whole car. I've worked it out. Um, and uh, I'll just pop that in there now. I need to mix this stuff Hang together. On, Sorry, you might want these. Oops, it's all right, it's okay. It's just kind of normal health and safety. They are, right. you can have one of those. Uh, there's another one. Now, obviously, that will come with the kit as well. And um, now what I'm gonna do is just mix these in. I shall just flout normal standard health and safety regulations around right. cryogenic materials, but don't mind that. I'm working on that as well, so here we go. Just drop a little bit in. Uh, whoa! Uh, okay, we've got uh, enough for a car full. Um, I'm not sure, maybe a little bit more. Uh, that's be, well, okay, that's maybe two car fulls. There's a bit left, I'll put a bit more in. Here we go. Whoa! <coughs> um, oh, that's Look at that, look! Yeah, right. Come on. Come I'm alright, Come on. Go on, lads. Nice one. Nice one. Come on. See ya. No, come That's back. Right. Nice no, come on. back. Hang on. Here are some car wash. And some bubbles. Yeah. <laughs>